all ready to go. I figure I just need to do this for about another six months and then it will be so technologically slick. <laughs> so I have um, now the Goddess Oracle, the one that is by Amy Sophia Marashinsky and illustrated by Rana Janto. So it's all ready to go. Now I've given it a bit of a shuffle. Let's see who it is that we need to work with for this week. Is oh Jesus! Always I've got to turn this light. Yeah. Let me see. It's Tara. Tara. And her message is centering. So let me just see if I can pull her up really quickly here. Be lovely if I can find her image quickly. Okay, so let's just see here if. Okay, so there, I think. Uh, an image of a new tab. Here we go. Okay, very excited. Got there. Okay, there she is. So let me tell you a little bit about Tara. Let's just start to focus on the image. Start with her poem. Actually, I'll start with who she is. So Tara, who originated in India and whose name means star, is a major goddess in the Tibetan pantheon. She is known to help those who call upon her in tumultuous times of need, to steer a clear path, to find the stillness and strength within. She is also the goddess of self-mastery and mysticism. From the first tear of compassion, a lake was formed. From the middle of this lake, a lotus emerged. When it bloomed, Tara emerged. Although offered reincarnation in male form, she swore to be ever incarnated as a woman. And so now just focus on your breath. And just be aware of the movement of breath, the inhale and the exhale. the expansion and the contraction. Tara's poem is, I sit with my attention focused on my breath, breathing in and out Inhaling and exhaling, taking in and letting go. The dance of creation, the dance of the universe, the dance of life. I sit in stillness, in focused awareness breathing in and out as the ocean that is life 
churns and pulses around me as oceans of incarnation swirl and twirl through me, beside me, all around me. My eyes see all, know all, and watch as I breathe, still, focused, aware, centered. Open yourself to connect with Tara. Open yourself to hear her wisdom.
bring your awareness once more back to your breath, focusing on the inhale and the exhale. Be aware once more of the movement of that breath. And allow it to bring you back from inner exploration to the place in which you sit. And as you come more fully into waking consciousness once more, take some time to thank Tara for the journey and the insights and the guidance. And taking three deep centering breaths, find yourself coming back to your place. And welcome back. Just going to make sure this is off. So I'm going to share just a little bit um, and then I'm going to turn off the recording. Um, but I just thought that it would be nice for the people who are um, participating. <laughs> not here to make, get a little bit of feedback as well and certainly for those of you who are doing that if you want to send me an email if you want to share what your experience was like i would love to hear it as well um but i'm just going to share that it, for me i i just was really very aware of sitting on that lotus of being in that space that imagery of um of sitting on the lotus and having you know all of that movement and uh, you know, things coming up and things going away and, and the churning all around was, was very strong. I, I felt just sitting in that, in that space of timelessness, you know, of all the times in my life of things that have come up and things that have drifted away and not just in the bounds of my life of like all the time. So the times in history that have come up and faded away. And and in all of it, it just was this same message. You know, something that my friend Christopher says all the time. Like, you just have to take care of your square mile. You know, what what are the things that I'm responsible for? I, I felt very clearly that serenity prayer of, of goddess is a god has granted me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can the wisdom to know the difference tara felt like you know the things that you can change are in the lotus the things that you can't change outside the lotus um and having to always be aware of that and yet also being aware of how easy it is, like how easy it is to lose that center and to lose our center. I mean, certainly I find in, in this work that a lot, 
we've been talking about codependency a lot. And codependency is the way that I lose my sense of myself, my okayness in myself to something outside of me, to somebody else, to somebody else's idea of, of what I should be, or even it doesn't have anything to do with, with how they think I should be, but that they're not okay because they're not okay. I'm not okay. Um, and I, I know that, you know, I mean, certainly with my son, but, um, other places as well where I've thought like, well, I'll be okay when he's okay. It's not that I'm afraid of, or, or it's not that person's perceptions of me of thinking that I should change, but that I just so want them to be okay, that I'm not okay until they are okay. And that's kind of part of it too. You know, then I just really had this image of me crawling off my Lotus <laughs> and try to write somebody else's. And, um, and certainly we can like support and reach out and help and guide and reflect. But, but ultimately everybody has to find their, their own center. So, so it was sort of that, that twofold message for me, partly of, you know, what it is to just be on my Lotus, but also the way in which, um, you know, our caring for others can, can sometimes pull us off balance. And I just, I loved that serenity in her face, um, bringing us back to, to being in that heart place. So that's my little sharing for today of what I got out of the meditation. I'm going to say goodbye to those who are um, joining us from, uh, from the Easter, and we will see you another time.